Welcome to Opinion Journal Live. I'm Mary Kissel. We're continuing our special coverage today of the Democratic National Convention in Charlotte at the Time Warner Cable Arena. Kicking off today's show is Fox News commentator and author Monica Crowley, who's joining me to preview the keynote speech tonight of our 42nd President Bill Clinton. Monica, is this the beginning of the Hillary 2016 presidential campaign? Well, I think so. And there are a couple of very interesting things that are, are going to transpire tonight, Mary. First of all, Monica Lewinsky's rabbi is actually going to lead the convention in a prayer. I'm not making this up. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> then, of course, Bill Clinton will be taking the stage. And I do believe that this speech is as much about Hillary 2016 as it's going to be about Bill Clinton. And then thirdly, Barack Obama. So do you expect Bill to completely ignore the last four years as many of the other conventions? speakers have and look forward? Or do you think we're going to be rewinding back to the 1990s? I have a feeling knowing Bill Clinton and knowing what he likes to do, which is talk about himself, that we'll be hearing a lot about the Clinton economy. Remember me? I'm the guy that gave you a balanced budget. Remember me? I'm the guy who put in place spending cuts. Remember me? I'm the guy who brought you some real economic growth. I think the comparison, whether it's wittingly or unwittingly between Bill Clinton and the economy that he delivered in large part because he had Republican pressure on him after 1994 versus the Obama economy is not going to be particularly flattering to Barack Obama and I think that's exactly the point. Yeah well I'd like to draw our viewers attention to the editorial that we had in today's Wall Street Journal on this very point of Barack and Bill that talked a little bit about this democratic myth making about about the 1990s in mm -hmm. Bill Clinton's record, uh, which pro of course, uh, and there we go, we've got a little screenshot of it there. Um, so we'll probably hear some of the same themes tonight. I'll let you read the editorial uh, if you're interested. Uh, but in a larger sense, what does it mean that the president is turning to one of his biggest rivals for help? Well, first of all, it shows desperation because if Barack Obama were more popular, if he were really leading Mick, Mitt Romney by, say, seven or ten points, there is no way that he would have Bill Clinton on this stage. He needs Clinton. Clinton is still the big dog. He's got about 60, 65 percent popularity among all Americans, not just Democrats. So he really does bring an energy and a popularity to this that Barack Obama, supposedly the star of this convention, lacks. Also, I think they're going to try to get this message across, which I don't think is going to work, but they're going to try that. Look, the Obama economy stinks. We all know it stinks. And by the way, a couple of months ago, if not a year ago, Bill Clinton was standing with Barack Obama at a factory and blurted out loud, yes, we all know this economy stinks. And Barack Obama <laughs> looked like he wanted to slink under the carpet. So I think the sort of the message here is that this economy stinks and we all know it's bad. So don't pay any attention to that. Check out the Clinton economy from 20 years ago. I don't think that works because people know that Bill Clinton is not Barack Obama and vice versa. And that what Obama has done over the last nearly four years has been totally ideological. He's taken the party and the country to the far left where Bill Clinton had some economic success because he was more of a pragmatist and tended to govern toward the center. Well, speaking of where the president has taken the party, and we've got about a minute left here, uh, the primetime speakers to Tonight are from the very far left. You have Senate candidate Elizabeth Warren from Massachusetts, California Attorney General Kamala Harris, who spearheaded uh, basically bilking $25 billion out of our, our biggest banks, activist Sanda Fluke. Who are the Democrats trying to reach with this kind of a lineup? This tells me that they are very desperate to rally their base. There's a huge enthusiasm gap benefiting the Republicans right now. Conservative movement is on fire. And so what they're trying to do is sort of the bare minimum, which is get women, Hispanic voters, black voters really energized, not to the extent they were last time, because that is impossible, but at least rallied enough so that they'll motivate and get out and vote in November. That is a huge problem for them, because at this point in the election season, if they are still focused on rallying their base, as they apparently Currently are. I mean, they're looking at these numbers. They're losing women now big time. Remember that Obama won among women in particular by 13 points in 2008. 2010, he lost women big time. We're now seeing new polls showing a continuing hemorrhaging of female support away from the Democrats and Obama. So the fact that they're trotting out all of these women, they had a big abortion fiesta yesterday at the convention as well, tells me that they are really worried about getting out their base. Okay, well, Fox News commentator and author Monica Crowley, thank you so much. My pleasure. For being and by the way, us. don't you want 
want to be in that voting booth on November 6th in Chappaqua <laughs> and watching Bill Clinton exactly who he will pull that lever for? I don't for. know. Let's I guarantee it's, you it's Mitt Romney. Let's hope it's not a hanging Chad. Uh, <laughs> Monica Crowley, thanks again for being My pleasure. with us.